All right, so a pebble is dropped into a compound causing ripples to form in, in of, form of circles. The radius of r of the outer ripple is increasing at a rate of one foot per second. When the radius is four feet, at what rate is the total area of the disk disturbed water changing? So again, we want to think about, and one thing that I work with uh, my students is always look into, you know, one thing when you're doing the, especially these word problems, is go back, I like restating the question. And we're not, I'm not gonna necessarily go through that, but let's maybe underline, make sure we really understand what rate is the total area of the disturbed water changing? Let's really, really make sure that when we go back and we solve our problem that we're answering the correct question, because I can't tell you how many times that um, I will go through and have students do a whole bunch of work, and then we end up solving for the wrong material. Because again, you, you might have the same problem, but we might be able to ask three or four different questions. So really make sure you guys uh, make sure that whenever you get your answer, you go back and make sure that's the correct uh, correct answer to the question. We also know that um, the radius r of the outer ripple is inc increasing. So we have the radius r is increasing at a rate of one foot per second. And they also tell us that the radius is four feet. So a couple things that we know. Um, we know that the, the change in the radius, right, dr over dt, is one foot per second. And we know that the r is equal to 4 feet. And this is all at the time that they're asking us to be able to evaluate for the change in the, uh, what is the rate of change in the area with respect to time. So to find the change in area with respect to time, I need to obviously differentiate this formula with respect to time. So I get dA over dt equals, let's see, you're going to have 2 pi r dr over dt. So it's pi times 2r. I just kind of put the 2 pi r because the two constants I put in front. All right. Now, again, we're again trying to find this rate. So this is what we're looking for. And that is when. Um, when the change in the radius is, foot o is one foot over a second, and then times four. So I have <coughs> dA over dt is equal to two pi r is going to be four feet. And dr dt is going to be one foot per second. So therefore, dA over dt and let me <coughs> is going to be your 8 pi feet per second squared, or feet squared over seconds. 